The inspiration for the outside of this building and the inside is really derived from uh, our studies of the prairie and Canadian Rockies. The outside is full of ledges and nooks and crannies, um, different massing changes that occur on the building and that language translates into the inside of the hall into the lobby. The materials are metals and stone and other kinds of things that help reinforce that, that architectural language. The inside of the concert hall is really taken from looking at the old prairie um, barns, how barns were constructed, tents, um, what those looked like when they were illuminated. And then of course the canopy uh, over the stage was derived one day thinking about what are we going to do formally to make an orchestra canopy work acoustically. And it occurred to me that if we abstracted the Alberta rose and made it out of wood, that it would be quite a wonderful element given its scale in the room. The inspiration for the lobby continues that language of the architectural materials and architectural development of the outside coming in. So the volume of the concert hall, which as an exterior element is shaped as a barn asymmetrically, the material of that barn comes in as the major focal wall of the lobby space itself. The lobby space is important because it not only serves the concert hall, but it also serves the studio ensemble F. And we've incorporated light elements in it that are abstractions of the rain that so often occurs in Calgary. So you'll see very large striations of light that are coming asymmetrically into the lobby. The inspiration for the Transalta Pavilion, or as I call it, the Ensemble F space, is a multi-purpose rehearsal hall. So in a multi-purpose rehearsal hall, it's very important to have adjustable acoustics. It's important to have acoustic shaping. And as I was looking for something to do with the shaping, it occurred to me that when I was a child, my sisters always had uh, origami things, the kinds of games that children play with the things in their hands that fold paper and have names inside them. It's a very elegant room, but it's also a workhorse room. The end result of this project is one that I'm extremely pleased with and it's better than I ever imagined. But this building has become one that I think is going to be a new symbol for all of Alberta and I hope one of the richest concert halls in all of Canada.